What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button. Hit that notification bell and make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out. Now this video we are going to be covering Batman Detective Comics issue number 1039. Now if you haven't been keeping up with Detective Comics, go ahead and check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It will get you completely caught up on everything that's been going on in these awesome lines. Now in the last couple issues, we have seen a lot of different things happen. We have seen Mr. Worth pretty much completely snap and he is just having red in his eyes looking for Bruce Wayne and looking for Batman aimed at killing both of them. All while in the background, Hugh Vile, a man who seems to have some kind of parasite in his body or he is a parasite, he is working in the shadows to help bring down this entire city. Now the writer is Mariko Tamaki, pencils is Victor Bogdanovic, and the colors are Jordi Belair. And with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright guys, so this issue is picking us up with Huntress and Batman trying to save Donovan. Deep down inside the tunnels, there are explosions rigged all around them. And we see these explosions go off. These explosions ignite and Batman and Huntress do their best to try to make their escape as Worth watches from a distance and Vile works in the shadows. Now this was all a ploy. This was all planned by Hugh Viles. This is something that he has been working at for quite some time. You know, the first time he ever came to Gotham, it was because they were going to the hospital. His mother had said that he had gotten sick swimming the summer that he turned eight years old. That's when she first started seeing these kind of mood swings that he has. And at times he seems almost ravenish. But at the same time, he is never hungry. He's never hungry for at least what they are offering to feed him. And the doctors, they did their best. They tried to treat this in every way they knew how to do it. Treating it as some kind of fungal infection. But nothing seemed to work. Being extremely sensitive to, to light and different kinds of things. Hugh knew that they were trying to kill whatever was inside of him. But Hugh also felt... That if they were to kill it, it would also be killing a part of him. And without this, he cannot become strong. And so, he dedicated his life to keeping this parasite alive. To keeping it strong. And it wasn't long before he found out exactly what he needed to make sure that it's fed. And so what he does is he takes over his victims. He feeds off of them and he sends them home. He sends them to do his bidding to infect more people around them. And that's how this cycle works for him. They're extensions of his own hunger. All of this violence, it feeds him. And as Batman and Huntress are making their way through the city, this is when Donovan turns on Batman. Using a piece of glass shard she has in her hand, she stabs Batman. Only for Batman to turn around and Mr. Worth be there with his pistol in hand, and a bunch of penguin goons behind him. And at this point, Batman, he's getting sick and tired of going up against Mr. Worth. He's trying to give Worth the benefit of the doubt. He's trying to let him stay alive. But Worth, right now, he has a death wish. He is going to put Batman and Bruce Wayne in a body bag, no matter what the cost. And as it stands, the city is coming down around them. The mayor has announced a, a state of emergency, and all of the gangs, all of the violence, all of the evildoers, they are spilling onto the streets, and chaos and pandemonium are striking. And this is where back in the lab, Oracle has been working on what the heck this thing is, what has been infecting people, and how they can find a cure for it. But all of this leads them back to one individual. It leads them back to Hugh Vile. And with Batman currently occupied fighting Mr. Worth, and Donovan now tied up, Huntress decides she's going to be the one to go after and find Vile. And as it stands, Batman, he is in such a rough state. After everything that has happened, he is bleeding all over the place. And it seems like Mr. Worth is actually somehow formative. I don't understand what Mr. Worth's background is to make him on the same playing field as Batman. Especially when we've seen people like Bane come out here. But Mr. Worth, you know, just a really big guy can take on Batman. That It kind of irks me. I don't, I'm not really a, a big 
fan of that idea. But with this fight going on, we see Penguin's guys come up, and so now Batman's have to take on a whole bunch of individuals, as well as Mr. Worth. Oh, well, Huntress has made her way to Hugh Vile. Now, we gotta remember, she doesn't exactly know how he's infecting people or what he is doing to people, but she does know that he is the culprit, and so they need to bring him in. And when Huntress goes to throw handcuffs on Vile, this is when the parasite attacks. Grabbing onto the Huntress face, it seems to be able to infect her, but not before Huntress is able to stab him in the gut. And this is where we see the Huntress turn. The infection starts to lay into her head, and she is now becoming whatever this parasite is. And picking back up with Batman and Mr. Worth, Batman has pretty much taken out all of Penguin's goons, and Mr. Worth now sitting here with a pistol drawn on Batman. Batman trying to plead with him, trying to tell him it's not too late. But Mr. Worth does not give him much of an option here. And we see Batman throw an explosive, hitting the cement trunk behind him. That cement truck exploding and cement pouring all over Mr. Worth. Now, I know the idea here is supposed to be that this somehow concretes him into this spot. But the truth of the matter is, even if he were to have all of this concrete pour onto him, it's wet concrete. So he's going to be able to relatively move out of this within a couple of seconds. But with all of this going on, this is when we see the Huntress arrive. The Huntress arrive and she starts laying down some arrows trying to take out Batman. Because now she is under the influence of what was ever this parasite is inside a vial. And Batman immediately recognizes that she's infected. Now, all of this going on, all of this fear that Batman is feeling, this is all feeding vile. So he is slowly getting stronger. His wounds are slowly starting to heal up. Batman doing his best to try to, try to contain Huntress in any way he can but she is coming at him with a bloodlust that he has not seen from her. And as Huntress is on top of Batman, trying to plunge a knife into his chest, she says only one word. She says light. And she says it again, and Batman finally gets the hint. And this is when he pulls out what appears to be some kind of flash grenade, detonating it right in between the two, causing a blinding flash, and the Huntress backs off. And so it seems things have come to an end. Mr. Worth cannot be found. They put Huntress into a coma, at least until they can find some kind of cure. It's really the safest option for everybody. The streets are now clear of most of the villains and most of the gangs. But as it stands, there are many people still missing, Hugh Vile being taken away by what looks like gang members of Bane. And so Oracle, she asked Batman, you know, what are we going to do? There's chaos pouring onto the streets. Hugh Vile is somewhere out there infecting people. Huntress is now in a coma. And Batman feels like his only option moving forward is going to be able to turn himself in. To turn himself in to the authorities. Which is actually pretty funny because we just saw that in Batman the Detective. And so that seems to be the running thing right now is Batman just willingly giving himself up to the police. Though I don't know if that is the best option considering he was just locked up in police custody and Mr. Worth literally blew up the police station. But that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Now in the back of this issue, there is a little bit of a side story. This really just Hugh Vile's journey more or less coming to Gotham City. Him infecting people, him creating his own little type of hive, if you will. But he always wanted to come back to Gotham City because of the amount of fear that is in this place. It is something that can constantly and continuously feed him. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I'm not 100% on board with this. I'm not a fan of Mr. Worth. I think he is an absolutely just horrendous villain. He's just a guy who has money and he's really big. Now, he could have some kind of formal training that we don't know about, but as it stands, he's just a rich, big, big guy. So I don't understand how he's being able to go with someone like Batman. Being able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with someone that takes on Bane, that takes on the Joker, that takes on all of these freaking villains, has a, a contingency plan for people like Superman, but you're telling me Mr. Worth is getting the better of him. Oh, it seems a little crazy to me. Hugh Vile is a really unique villain, though. I really do like the idea of him getting a parasite at a young age, 
but at the same time ended up pretty much bonding with it and becoming one like a symbiote but yeah let me know what you guys think down in the comments if you have not yet please do me a favor hit that sub button hit that notification bell make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out and until the next breakdown